Hi lovelies, it's Jen here, Tuesday night, and it's about 9.20, so it's pretty late again. It was picture day, but I didn't get any pictures of the kids on their way to school because um, as they were out the door, Brighton woke up and he was just wanting to be held and cared for, so I didn't get any pictures. So we'll just have to wait till the picture day pictures come in, and then I'll show you guys how the kids turned out. Hopefully good. But um, today I just decided to do a quick video tonight. As you know, Aurora and Diego have had colds. They're getting a lot better. They're starting to feel a lot better, so that's good. But I thought I'd show you what I give the under five crowd in terms of medicine when they come down with the cold, because I try not to give them anything that's um, unnatural if I can avoid it. So I wanted to show you, now there's times of course you have to give them Tylenol if they have a fever or you know obviously you need to go to the doctor get antibiotics. I'm totally in favor of that. But when they have a cold what do I do if it's not too serious and what can I do to help it? So I thought I'd show you what we normally do. The first thing we do is butter their feet <laughs> if they have a persistent cough. We call it buttering feet, but really it is using Vapor Rub. Um, this is the Up and Up Brown, but it's the same as Vicks or any other Vapor Rub. And we will put that on their feet and put socks on, and that tends to stall a persistent cough. It works really, really well, especially for children with asthma. It's a really neat trick. Obviously, if they're snuffly, I'll also put some on their chest. Usually, I don't actually put it directly on their skin. I'll just put it a little bit on the collar of their shirt, and that's good enough. Um, for them to breathe it in and um, that way I don't have to worry about any rashes or anything from the vapor rub. So that's the first thing I usually do and I definitely do the buttering of the feet in the day and at night if their cough is persistent. That's my first line of defense always. Um, another thing that I will use is saline spray. That's pretty standard. Again, this is Up and Up Target brand. We buy a lot of the generic Target brand just because it's um, cheaper. But um, again, this is just simply salt water and you just simply unscrew it. Oof, I don't know if I can do that with one hand. Let me ignore the great shot there. Whoops. Unscrew it with one hand like that. And basically, um, they say you can turn it upside down and drip it, but that's just not what I do with little kids. It's not going to work. So what I do is I just spray like that a little bit in each side, and then I get a Kleenex ready. And typically about a minute or two later, they'll start sneezing, and it, it just helps to flush it out. And I think it's a lot safer than doing like a, you know, a nettle pot or anything like that. So I just use that, and that's an addition to help get the congestion, especially if their nose isn't running at all, which I don't know if anybody else's kids have that, but I have two or three kids that their nose like never runs. It always goes down the back of their throat, and then they get like the persistent cough. I don't know if it's because they have asthma or just whatever, just a trait of their particular, you know, who they are as a human, but um, this works really well for that. So uh, we use nasal spray. And then um, for the medicine, what I try and use is an all natural. Um, I like the Highland spray on. And here in the States, you can get it pretty much anywhere. And it's all homeopathic. So it doesn't have, you know, chemicals or weird things like that. And it really does seem to work. What it has in it, besides honey, obviously, that's one thing I should note. It wouldn't be good for, um, kids that are under one because you're not supposed to give them honey but otherwise um, it's all natural I can show you the back all homeopathic and it really does help with the snuffling and the coughing and the sore throat the sneezing I'm not so sure on but um, everything else it does seem to help with so I do give them the Highlands and I highly recommend it this is for ages 2 to 12 so that's super I mean like that's just there's not a lot you can find in for two to whatever, two to six. Once they hit six and they have chewable tabs and other kinds of medicine. But um, actually, I just really like it. The kids like the way it tastes. I never have a complaint that they don't like it. It tastes pretty good to them. So that's great. And my older kids actually like to use it too. So um, anyways, I highly recommend that. And if you have a baby that's sick, they make dissolvable tablets that come in a little container about that big and it's called infant cold tabs and it's made with the same stuff like minus the honey and you can put one in their mouth like you would a teething tablet same idea and it will dissolve and um, 
it can help a little bit with the congestion. But usually for the babies, if I have any choice at all, obviously you wouldn't do that with a baby that's brand new, but if they're already starting to feed themselves, that works. But um, with the babies, definitely you can do vapor rub. There's no problem there. And the saline spray, and that works really well. Um, we'll also put a humidifier in their room if it seems like it would help them. This round of colds, I didn't put a humidifier in their room. I don't think it was that terrible. Oh my gosh, Aurora. Aurora, where is she? There she is. That's Aurora. Do you see her? <laughs> she just tore Jackaroo's poster in half. His why it's important to learn math poster. She just tore it in half. Oh no. So mommy's going to have to tape that up before Jackaroo comes down. But anyways, I just thought I'd do a quick um, video vlog of what I do for my kids when they have colds. Maybe it'll help you. If you have anything else that you do, you can definitely let me know in the comments below. And again, you know, I just thought I'd share because I'm going to be putting the medicine away because they're actually getting better. Hooray! So they won't need it probably tomorrow. But um, anyways, so if you have any other suggestions or comments or different things that you do, go ahead and let me know. All right, everybody. Bye.